vlog. It is currently Saturday and I just made my little coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed that little coffee montage. This is actually like my new favorite way to make lattes. I think I saw somebody put on a uh, TikTok to once you brew the espresso, then you put the milk in, then you put the ice. And this is honestly a game changer. Plus the honey. I got that idea from um, a coffee shop near me. They usually do like a tablespoon of honey in most of their brews so it's been so good so that's my little coffee of the morning and then i'm about to make some blueberry muffins and i am already wearing my mardi gras shirt because we are nearing mardi gras time so yeah i'm gonna make some blueberry muffins and keep an eye on kai because he is kind of sick this weekend he's been having some upset tummies so yeah that's been fun but anyways let's get to cooking sit down to do some crafting so I actually played Dreamlight Valley earlier today and then I just had dinner and we're about to do some woobles so this is a crochet kit that I found I think I've been getting their ads like on TikTok and Instagram but I think this is a shark tank company but you can get little craft kits from them and they're all crocheting so I got the easiest ones to do which was this little blue penguin called Pierre and then they had this mystery donut kit, which I got like a yellow donut and a couple little add-ons because these were just cute. You could do a mini Pierre the Penguin and a mini coffee cup. So I'm going to try my hand at crochet. I've never crocheted in my entire life, um, but I'm excited to try it and give it a try. So I'm going to pull up the tutorial on my computer and just like watch it and do some crafts. I know this is gonna turn out so bad, so I think I'm gonna do the donut first because I don't wanna mess up Pierre too bad. <laughs> oh my god! I got a little like crochet needle with donuts on it, how cute! box subscription I've had it on pause for the last couple of months um and my hands are super dry so I'm just gonna put on lotion while I remember that but um yeah I had my rocks box on pause for just like the holidays because I find that I honestly didn't have time to bring it back to the mailbox if you don't know what it is it's a subscription box for jewelry um, it's like I think 20 or 25 dollars a month and you get to try out three items of jewelry and You keep them for as long as you like and then you send them back and get a new set and you can use your 25 dollars to buy one of the pieces So most of my jewelry honestly has come from rocks box over the past like three or four years I think I've had it since the pandemic at least but it's just like fun to try new jewelry and not have to pay crazy costs so I'm gonna open it with you guys but you do get to have a wish list and you can actually just like customize what you want in your box from what they have available that month too so if you don't get something from your wish list you can just go change it <laughs> so i got three pieces two are from sophie harper and one is coca centric so i'll do coco centric first these are the sauna hoops in pink oh yeah i wanted to get some like valentine's day jewelry like this bag is so cute too. Okay, they're each packaged separately, but they're these little hoops with some pink enamel on them. And I think they're super cute. I will definitely be wearing these the month of February. And I just think that's adorable. And then the other thing I got is actually a set. So it's a necklace and earrings, and they are little bows. This is the brand Sophie Harper. 
And here's the little set. So you get a bow necklace and then these bow earrings with little pearls. <gasps> this is the cutest thing. These are so precious. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be adorable. And I will definitely be wearing these. Oh, so cute. So that's my little set for February. But yeah, not much has been going on this week. Just honestly, work, 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 because I am going on a ski trip next or this weekend actually we're leaving on saturday so i've just been kind of working trying to you know um set myself up to where i don't have to worry about it obviously next week while i'm off and that when i get back i'm not like overloaded with work so we'll see how that goes because i just have not been able to actually finish anything yet so we'll see that's the update for now and I think tonight I'm going to work on my crochet a little bit more so you guys saw I started on my donut I got about halfway through so I'm definitely gonna work on it more tonight and that's about it for now hello guys it is Sunday right now and I'm about to do my makeup so I figured I'd kind of just sit here and chat with you guys about what I've been watching recently so it has actually been a minute since I last talked to you guys I actually went on a vacation and I do have a separate vlog coming out for that. But while I was there, I did a little bit of Netflix watching and I finished my life with the Walter Boys, which a lot of people had been recommending to watch. I realized it is based off a, um, a book. I think it's a young adult book because it's, you can like kind of tell, <laughs> but it follows the life of a teenager after her um, parents and sister, her whole family basically tragically died in a car crash. I'm not spoiling anything, okay? Like, this is what happens. <laughs> this is the show. That happens in like the first 10 seconds, so it's fine. But yeah, so she goes to live with her mom's um, best friend from college and her like eight children. She's a lot of kids. They live on a farm in somewhere in Colorado. And she basically like falls into this love triangle with two of the sons. Now, let me just tell you, I never liked Cole, okay? I'm putting it out there. I know everybody loves Cole, but I didn't like him from day one. I realize he does cute things and like he's sweet sometimes, but guys who are sweet to you in private and then mean to you in public is just like the worst thing in the world. Why would you do that? <laughs> so I never liked his character. I also am not a fan of blondes. I really just don't, Bonds don't do it for me, so I just really didn't care about Cole since day one, and I liked Alex since day one, so yeah, I was definitely an Alex girl. Um, Alex is a little quirky. He's kind of, he's a little too puppy dog energy, but it's okay. He's like insecure, <laughs> but he's like a nerdy boy, and yeah, so she's in this love triangle with two brothers, which is just a great, great idea, right? So... Yeah, I watched the first season of that show and oh, the end of the season is really good because it leaves you wanting more. I don't actually know how many books are in the series, but I'm assuming there's going to be definitely like a season two because it was actually like a huge hit. So yeah, I watched that last week. It was really good. I liked having something just like, I don't know, cute and like not too hardcore to watch. It's literally just like... A little romance show it was cute i like having something lighthearted <laughs> because right now i'm actually reading um the last book in the court of thorns and roses um series which is a court of something with an s and f i can't remember but it's following uh farah the main character for the most of the series is sister and it's all from her point of view and it's a little dark like not gonna lie it's also 800 pages i think it's like actually 890 it's so long <laughs> and everybody that i've seen talk about it uh talks about how it's such a slow build up so i'm about 200 pages in i just really wanted something a little more lighthearted <laughs> to kind of entertain myself besides that show that book so i've been watching um, Virgin River as well, which I would not say is lighthearted at all. <laughs> it, uh, it's another Netflix 
series and it actually I think they already have like three or four seasons so it's a really established show it's like a, a drama I guess you would say it really reminds me of Sweet Magnolias I loved Sweet Magnolias on Netflix I've rewatched it a few times already it is just one of those like really comforting kind of shows they live in the south it's a beautiful like small town romance like oh it's so sweet i should probably read sweet magnolias because i know it's based off of a book too yeah so i've just started virgin river i'm only like three or four episodes in i'm liking it so far um it's about a big town nurse from la and she's looking for an escape from her life after something tragic happens which we still haven't really found out exactly what the tragic thing is that does happen but she's escaping something tragic and trying to find like small town living and so she's going to go be a nurse in this small town. But when she gets there, of course, the doctor she's supposed to nurse for doesn't know that she's supposed to be there and doesn't want her help. And he's just like a crotchety old man, which like I hate. <laughs> I hate when shows do this. Like first you gave me Cole, who's like stubborn and rude. And then you gave me this like old man who's stubborn and rude. I just, can we just have nice characters, please? Like, is that too much to ask? <laughs> but it wouldn't be a good show without a little bit of, you know, conflict or whatever there. So anyways, I'm like four episodes in. I think it's going to be really cute. So those are the new shows I've been watching. I still haven't finished The Bear, which I have to like be in the right mindset to watch The Bear because it is like very stress inducing. It's funny and it's a really good show, but it's like, oh my God, it'll really get your heart going. I like to watch it actually while I uh, cook, which is really funny but it like helps motivate me, I don't know. So that's what I'm watching recently. And I've been reading a new book called, it is called Caraval. And it is like a fantasy mystery book. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. I'm still, I'm like 40% through the book, but I still have no idea what's going on. It's kind of like giving Hunger Games, but it's like wizardry and sorcery but like there's something wrong i don't know it's this girl and she has always wanted to go see these like magical games and she finally gets the chance to and like stuff is just not going her way so i don't know it was on um steph boyer's uh reading club for february if you don't follow steph she was like the first person i followed in like booktube and I really like her and I enjoy her content, even on like TikTok and stuff. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe this book. It's not really something that I would have picked for myself, but I'm reading it just to kind of, you know, get a little more experience in different areas besides just romance or just fantasy romance. So we'll see how it goes. It's like pretty interesting, but I have a feeling it's gonna kick up like near the end of the book. And then I don't know if anyone else is with me on like, being obsessed with Bridgerton right now. I cannot wait for season three to come out. I swear they changed the release date. It was originally December 25th or 26th, like the day after Christmas. They were gonna release all of season three at once. And then they changed it to like part one in May and part two in June. And that was just cruel and unusual punishment. So that was really rude. So I've actually noticed that the Bridgerton audiobooks are available on Audible if you have premium. So I'm going to start on the book with Colin in it, which is actually book four. I think they skipped somebody's, I don't know, love story to move on to book four with Penelope. So, and people are saying that it's super, super spicy, which I'm like having a hard time imagining Penelope in spicy scenes because I really don't like that character. I have to say, I don't like Penelope. She was annoying since day one but maybe I'll grow to love her. So I'm gonna start that one on Audible because I'm like really excited to <laughs> just spoil the whole story for myself. Obviously they're gonna get together, like it's definitely gonna happen. Like there's no way that it won't, but there's probably gonna be some twists and turns in between. So I'm excited to see what happens, but yeah, I will definitely be starting that one really soon. And that's like a recap of all of the things that I'm watching and reading right now. I just had to do my makeup because I have not done it in over a week and I feel like a slug. So did my makeup and now I'm going to go edit this vlog and put it up for you guys and edit another video, maybe record something. So we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I, I hope you liked this like very chatty style and then a little bit of cooking in there. But 
Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.